that a beautiful story you know, of a, a devotee of Lord Shiva. So this landlord was worshipping you know, Lord Shiva with earnest longing. You know, and uh, one day he fell sick. And he asked his son to go and call the priest. And the priest, he was a worshipper of Lord Narsingadev. So the priest refused, said, no, I worship Lord Narsingadev, you know, but I can't worship Lord Shiva. Because, you know, in the mind of very often people, you know, especially Vaishnava, they have that notion that Lord Shiva is a, a lesser deity. But because it's Lord Shiva is the presiding deity over the Lord of Ignorance. So if somebody worship it, one will become ignorant. They don't see that Lord Shiva destroyed that ignorance inside of one who worship him. So having that in mind, the priests uh, refuse to come. And the landlord forced, the son of the landlord forced him to come, said, if you don't come, I will kill you right now. So out of fear, he came. And then here he was in front of, uh, in that uh, temple, and uh, in front of a shivaling, so he was wondering, how can I worship Lord Shiva? I don't know any prayer to, to, to Lord Shiva. So what he did, he started to chant all the prayer that he knows of Lord Narsingadev inside of his mind. He see Lord Narsingadev in the shivaling, and he started worshipping, chanting Lord Narsingadev uh, mantra. So when the landlord hear that, he called his son, and the son became very angry and took his sword and was running to kill the poor priest. And as he approached, out of the shivling itself, Lord Nashingadev manifest himself and killed the son itself. You see. So the priests have that realization at that moment that everything is presided by the same Supreme Lord himself. Yeah.